can hear during my first vocal countdown to wrap up the first week of Nintendo Month. After making six text-based countdowns, I thought it was time to start making a video which features my voice. Over the years, since its humble beginnings on the Atari, and later the Game & Watch, Nintendo has given us hundreds of characters. All of these range from... interesting and likeable, to evil and crazy, and to even... what the hell? I decided to honour all these great characters by creating a countdown of my top 15 Nintendo characters. Enjoy! <laughs> Starting this list off at number 50, we have Kirby Dark Nemesis, none other than King DDD. DDD is quite literally one of the strangest characters in the gaming world, yet he shares multiple personality traits with Bowser. Like Bowser, he is a self proclaimed king of his homeworld. Like Bowser, he was a phenomenon to defeat his enemy. And like Bowser, he always gets greatly humiliated and his scheme is spoiled at the end of each game. However, Moving on from the manically insane King DDD, we arrive in a more serious gaming series. The next spot on this list goes to none other than the start of the Metroid series, Samus Aran. What makes Samus unique in terms of Nintendo games is that she comes from a game series of a more serious nature than the likes of Mario and Kirby. Yet despite this, the reason Samus is still a very light protagonist is that she is one of the few characters that people can relate to. She has a strong sense of justice and will never give up despite her experiences and, it, and is truly determined to defeat the space pirates and their leader, Meta Ridley, regardless of all the crap they throw at her on a daily basis. Samus is also a very unique character concept, as she is an ex-galactic soldier to a bounty hunter, yet due to her sense of justice, she only seems to accept missions from the Galactic Federation, an organisation that she left due to her dispute with the commanding officer. Samus was also infused with alien DNA, with the race in question being the Chozo, in order to become an ultimate warrior. This makes her one of the few examples of this type of character who hasn't turned on the person or people who did this. Nintendo. Do a barrel roll! would be a boring place, that's for sure. Internet references aside, Peppy is a staple member of Team Star Fox, serving alongside Fox McCloud's father James and the traitorous Pigma Dengar. His connection to Fox's past and his helpfulness in battle, unlike a certain slip of toad, have led to him having an admirable character and personality. Due to his friendship with James McCloud, Peppy acts as a father figure to Fox throughout all the games he's appeared in, and because of this, he, like Wolf O'Donnell on certain occasions, has provided useful advice to Fox to help in various situations. Despite all this, Peppy is a very underrated character and generally overlooked, with the only thing people seeming to acknowledge about him being his catchphrase to a barrel roll. Personally, I believe that Peppy needs to get the attention he deserves, and for that reason, he's on my list. Keep on flying, Peppy. Nintendo. Shall I just play the sound clip and leave it there? Yeah. Falcon Punch! I couldn't resist. Racing his way onto this list is the star of the f Racing series, Captain Falcon, along with his trademark Falcon Punch. I've never actually played any F-Zero games myself due to not owning the consoles they were playable on, so my experience of Captain Falcon comes from so solely from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. As a fighter in Brawl, he's quite melee based, being that all his special attacks are just powerful punch and kick combos. However, his final smash, the Blue Falcon, is nothing to be taken lightly. 
I really think that Nintendo should make a remake of one of the F-Zero games, either the 3DS or Wii U, so as to introduce a new generation to Nintendo's earliest racing series. My only complaint about Captain Falcon's brawl appearance is that his final smash is not the Falcon Punch. I seriously hope this will be the case in Super Smash Bros. 4. Make it happen, Nintendo. Please. Nintendo. Ah, Pokemon. It, along with Pikmin, is one of the more relaxing Nintendo franchises. With 19 main series games, multiple spin-offs, a long-running anime series, and over 600 Pokemon in the entire series, it was inevitable that Pokemon would be represented at some point on this list. Now, the only question is, who to choose? Who to choose? Hmm. Hmm. Press Oak? Nah. N? Probably. Cynthia? Hmm. Jigglypuff? Oh god, no! Wait, I think I've got it. Play the sound clip. Pika! Yep, the number 46 spot on this list goes to the master of the entire Pokemon series, Pikachu. Why do I love Pikachu? Simple. He's cute, funny, and can learn some really useful moves like Thunderbolt, Iron Tail, Volt Tackle, Electro Ball, and Thunder. Also, most games from Gen 3 onwards include a special Pikachu with a unique move or gimmick, such as a Pokemon card which features Pikachu that can fly and surf, and the surfing Pikachu awarded to after the completion of the Pokemon Battle Revolution. Now let's talk about the most famous Pikachu of them all, Ash's Pikachu. Ash's Pikachu is so entertaining, especially when he accidentally deep fries Dawn's bike in the Diamond and Pearl anime, and when he shocks Team Rocket in virtually every episode. Pikachu is one of my favourite Pokemon, and that's why he's on the list, uh, as well as the fact that he is so damn entertaining. Our next entry comes from the Animal Crossing series. Don't worry, it's not Mr. Resetty. Why would he even be here? Or KK Slider. It is in fact, Tom Nook. Out of all the characters in Animal Crossing, Tom Nook stands above the rest. What's great about Tom Nook is that he never gets angry, embarrassed, or annoyed by the player's actions. Add in the fact that he is the first character you meet in almost every game, and is very helpful in setting up the job, actually acts as a tutorial character, you have yourself a very likeable character. Yet, he serves a greater function than just a shopkeeper or tutorial, as he can also give out rare items to the player if certain conditions are met. Apart from KK Slider, he is the only character that will do this. Even when you fail to do something for him, Tom Nook will not lose his temper or treat you like an idiot, unlike a certain Mr. Resetty. All in all, Tom Nook is a very likeable character in the very relaxing game series. 